Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in the fruit fly Drosophila, rudimentary wing called vestigial and dark body color called ebony are inherited at the independent loci and are recessive to the dominant wild type counterparts, full wing and gray body color. Dehybrid wild type males and females are crossed and 7200 progeny are produced and we have to find answers to these four questions. And actually this is very easy problem because this is classical dehybrid cross. And we basically have um, one parent that is hybrid for one gene and also hybrid for second gene. And we cross with another such uh, parent that is also going to be hybrid for gene A and gene B. This is what we call the hybrid cross, when both genes would be heterozygous and we cross with another parent that is also going to be heterozygous for both genes. And as you remember, um, in classical dehybrid cross, we should get a following ratio 9 to 3, to 3, to 1. So uh, we have two traits. One trait is um, size of the wings and the second trait is a color of the body. So because these two genes lay on the different chromosomes, we are going to get independent assortment. If we cross one parent that is going to be heterozygous for the gene A with another parent that is going to be heterozygous for the gene A in the following generation we can expect following ratios of the phenotypes. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here and small a, small a here. As you see result of such a cross would be three quarters of the progeny that is going to be of the dominant phenotype or would have a normal size wings. So three quarters, three quarters and one quarter would have wings that we call vestigial. Now we are going to use fork line method. So we got results that uh, three quarters of the progeny would have um, normal size wings and one quarter would have vestigial wings. I would add N here for normal size and V here for vestigial. And as for the second trait, um, color of the body, uh, both parents also heterozygous for this gene. And I'm not going to draw another Punnett square, we are basically going to see the same ratios in the progeny. So uh, three quarters of the progeny going to have a wild type uh, body color and one quarter are going to have a body color that we call ebony. So E here and W which stand for the wild type here. And also here we are going to have three quarters wild type body color and one quarter uh, ebony body color. So now it is very easy to calculate all the um, frequencies of the genotypes and phenotypes. So the first question is about how many progeny flies are expected to have full wings and gray bodies. So full wings, normal size of the wings and wild type of the body color. And this is going to be 9 sixteenths. We just have to multiply this fraction by this fraction. 3 quarters multiplied by 3 quarters is going to be 9 
16th. But this is not going to be our final answer for this question. As you remember, total number of the progeny produced 7200. So we have to multiply by 7200. And basically that means that we have to multiply 9 by 7200 and divide by 16. And our answer going to be uh, 4050. And this is going to be an answer for the first question. So 4050. And second question, how many progeny flies are expected to have full wings and ebony bodies? Full wings and ebony bodies. So we have to multiply three quarters by one quarter. And the answer going to be three sixteenths. And once again, we have to multiply by total number of the progeny. So we have to multiply by 7,200. And the answer going to be 1,350. So let's circle this is as answer to the second question. So 1,350. And third question, how many progeny flies are expected to have vestigial wings and gray bodies? Vestigial wings and uh, gray bodies or wild type. So one quarter multiplied by three quarters and we are going to get three sixteenths. So three sixteenths and once again, we have to multiply by 7200 and we already know the answer. Uh, this is going to be the same number. So going to be 1350. So 1350 is going to be an answer for the third question. And how many progeny flies are expected to have vestigial wings and ebony bodies? One quarter multiplied by one quarter and we are going to get uh, one sixteenth. So one sixteenth. And we have to multiply by 7200 and our answer going to be 400. And this is going to be an answer for the last question, 450. And as you see, we got classical uh, ratio of 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. The same ratio that I showed you before. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video, goodbye.